really excited for 2019 as we have what we think are one of the best race teams at the track and our record pretty much proves it. We've been running a race team with Tony Seilert, a former pro driver and winner of Le Mans twice and with Formula One experience direct with Ferrari and we finished in the top two points in the last two years in a row. We are now doubling the size of that team and adding an American format and plan the HSR SVRA race series format. All right, guys, I'm here with Doc again. Doc, so every time you were talking about this, this is the pride and joy, right? Uh, so what do we have here that's your pride and joy that you get to run? This is a 1968 replica of a Group 3 Lola T70. I think one of the finest that McClendon International has built. There's a lot of extras that have been taken into account with this car. And it has a 305 small block Chevy with four dual Webers. Um, extra flared fenders on 12 and a half inch rear wheels. Magnesium centers. And it's just simply the most beautiful car that I've ever seen, much less had a chance to drive. for the 2019 uh, season for wait and see race team uh, hopefully we do pretty good we get the cars put together and running well like they're supposed to but you know it's we're working the bugs out we're getting new new equipment in every day and it's pretty much all self-funding out of our own pockets right now which is really hard for us to do to try to start this race team up you know you got $12 million worth of old historic race cars. We're just, uh, you know, dusting them off, pulling them out of the woodwork and trying to run them on the track and be competitive. And uh, I'm gonna be running uh, a 1996 WSC March Bennett prototype car, pushing 850 horsepower, which you guys filmed me out on the track running that car. I'm also buying a, a full-blown Indy car in July and I'll be running those so whoever our sponsors are at the time they're gonna be all over that car they're gonna be seen all over the United States we're gonna be running Laguna Seca, Mid Ohio, Watkins Glen, Pocono, Sebring, Daytona we're gonna be all over the place so every everyone you're if you're a sponsor on our car you, you, you know, you're going to get out there, your name's going to get out there and be seen worldwide on these old historic race cars. I want to just say thank you to uh, Phil uh, for the opportunity to be uh, part of this uh, incredible race team with great drivers and a great crew and uh, of course the cars. I'm a physician of 30 years, a medical director of a hospital, and a consultant. I also own a wellness and human performance center and plan to support um, the athletes at the races. We are dedicated to the Homeless Children Fund and a portion of our um, sponsorship will be dedicated to that and, and hopefully getting out for most of the marketing for that purpose and building our race team. Uh, Wait and See has plans to expand um, to pro drivers as well as amateur drivers, introducing them uh, to these wonderful vintage cars that are, can't be found anywhere else um, and the quality of their uh, in workmanship is beyond reproach. First of all I'd like to thank Phil Wait, the Wait and See racing team and McClendon International for helping support us uh, with parts and engineering and of course the True Colors Tour Unlimited uh, with the homeless children and that's in the vein of our spirit um, to help being a physician and with the psoriasis fund. Me and my wife got involved.
involved in about eight years ago and it all started in my warehouse. Uh, started up at the Beaver Bar with Anthony Wilde um, from Palm Coast called Kids Rock the Nation and they were gifted guitars, uh, just basic guitars, used guitars and amps to underprivileged children who wanted to get into music but they couldn't and you know their parents couldn't afford to give them you know uh, instruments or lessons or anything else so me and my wife you know we were doing it for a while by you know buying what we could gifting guitars and this and that and they said you know next thing we know I had a 3,000 square foot warehouse at the time filled with all musical equipment bands everything so I said why don't we hold our first fundraiser in the warehouse? And we had about 250 people showed up for that. And what we do, we get people like Brett Michaels, Buddy Guy, the Rolling Stones, um, Pat Simmons from the Doobie Brothers, the whole Doobie Brothers uh, cast, um, the cast and crew from the TV show Empire. They'll all sign guitars for us. And what we'll do, we'll take these guitars off and auction them off. Uh, here's several, past several years we've been doing it. We always hold it the first week of December up at the Bank and Blues here in Daytona. And our first year, we maybe we raised about $8,000. Second year, it went up a little bit more, $15,000. Third year, $20,000. Now we're into like the seventh year of doing this. Last year in one night alone, we raised $50,000. This gives guitars, any instrument, any kid wants to play. Um, we give to schools, school programs, and you basically sign a form saying why you want to be accepted in the program, um, you know, what, what the reason is why you want to learn music, and you fill out an application and we read over the application and it gets approved and next thing you know we're calling you down and you're, we're gifting you a guitar in front of a, a, a whole audience of people and it's, it's just a great feeling to give back to the community.